like a person who cheats on you mm. maybe you find out mm. is someone who didn't cover their tracks, their tracks completely mm. and well mm. for two reasons mm. either they wanted you to know they were cheating mm-hmm. or they could cheat mm. or mm. or either they wanted uh, maybe they are new in cheating mm. Hi everyone, welcome to Conscious Mukbangs. Today I am with my sister on my channel and my son is there just misbehaving. Go baby! <laughs> Make up as we have a chat, a juicy topic. The chat we'll be having is of a very, very juicy topic. That's right. We'll be talking about rich men and being unfaithful. So come along, it's very enjoyable. I'll just pick one and show you how it looks like. This is. I've told you it looks like Mahamri, you know? This is how it's looking like. Some icing sugar on top. And it tastes real good. Good morning once again, my dear subscribers. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. And today is another day of my life with me. Where are you watching me from? How are you feeling today? I hope your day is going well. And if at all it's not going your way, just know that there's a God above us. Uh, have a positive mindset, things will turn around. After all, it's still early in the morning. Things can always change throughout the day. So don't worry about it. Le leave it all to God. Do your best. And that is what matters at the end of the day. So I'll be cooking mandazi once again for you. So I'm going to start now and I'll show you every each and every ingredient. These ones are a bit different from what we made last time. So enjoy the journey. Mwah! To start off, I'll just start by cracking my eggs, the ones I'll be using. I'll be using three eggs. Now I'll use uh, maybe three of these. I've taken my one cup of milk. It's 250 ml. If you want to follow the recipe to the tea, and a cup of water, one cup. I'll do my milk. I mixed my one cup of milk, one cup of water, 45 ml of vanilla essence, and my three eggs together. I'm just mixing them by the side. Two tablespoons of yeast, Six cups as usual. one cup of sugar that has been grounded so it's powdered sugar I put two cups of sugar then so today I'm gonna put seven of these half teaspoons measuring spoons I'm going to use seven of them okay. one to fifty ml cup of flour and 7.5 ml baking powder for each. If you don't have this machine, you can use your hands. This point as you can see it's all come together that it's not sticking on the tin so I'll just put a bit of oil like a tablespoon to just bring it together really nicely and then I'll remove it and put it aside to raise for about 30 minutes then I'll come back with you we cut up the pieces today we are not going to do uh, ugly <laughs> oh! ugly pieces today we are going to do very exact pieces and very same like pieces because last time people were telling me that my mandazis looked ugly 
but let me add the oil with you guys then I give it a rest for after 30 minutes that's when I'll come back to be able to finish up the cooking in ml of oil that is one tablespoon I'll be able to continue producing more content for you the mixer because I think it's ready you mix it until you feel like it's ready if you're using a mixer because there is no way that you can follow instructions and even the kind of flour sometimes may be used in the east sometimes used in the west is different from the flour we use here in Africa or in Kenya so there is no way you can follow someone's recipe unless maybe you are in the same you're using the same kind of flour and all that so that's how it's looking like let me just move this aside how my flour is looking like this far i'll just get it out of the pot spread it Oven, uh, I made it a bit warm for like five minutes so that it will just do the do quickly without taking long. That's what it needs to do. I'll meet you back here once it's ready to be cooked. See you then, guys. Thank you for coming along up to this far. 20 minutes later. We are at the stage where we are going to start um, just putting in the mandazis in the oil. I'm just going to test my oil. I'll try with this mandazi. I can see it's ready because it's coming up. If you want to know whether it's ready, you just check how they come up. And I'll turn the one that I had put first because it seems like they are going to make me go very fast I have to be quick 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 I attempted to do round ones today are the ones I'm done making so far I'm continuing with the next, the next batch they look like maham they're even raising like maham let me show you one look at the way they're looking they look exactly like maham look. this is how they look like They really look good. I'll piece a piece and show you inside. That's how they're looking like. Whoa. So I'll just pick one and show you how it looks like. This is, I've told you it looks like Maham, you know. This is how it's looking like. Some icing sugar on top. And it tastes real good. Boom, follow my recipe. And I'm sure you get such good results. It's so yummy and soft and it has air inside. Because the ingredients are just right. So if you follow my recipe, follow the ingredients that I've told you, I'm sure you get the same results. And you can enjoy with your family on a weekend. So let's see each other in the next session. With your small kachumbari on the side and voila
this is my small sister basically i'll be doing her makeup and we'll be chatting it's called a sibling tag or something i've seen it on youtube so i started by applying neutrogena concealer on her face i want to make sure she's my small sister she's sunscreen. just like my baby yeah neutrogena sunscreen i want to make sure that whatever makeup i put on her skin lasts and uh, doesn't uh, just get off Sunscreen helps you in terms of sweating, it reduces sweating. I'm sorry I'm using my fingers. Mimi ni wakienyeji hivo, I'm just like a kawaida. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just doing what I do on my own face. I'm going to be using Urban Decay 24 hour primer. While we do that, as I've told you, we'll be also chatting with my baby sister over here. Now, sis, uh, there are some things mm -hmm. in terms of friendships yep. that I know very well. This one my sister can forgive. Mm. This one she can't forgive. Mm. Like if your friend did something to you, mm. I know there are some issues mm. that you can just find forgivable mm. and some that you can't. Mm. For example, for me, I had a friend mm -hmm. who one day we were hanging out mm. uh, at a club. Mm. And then she just happened to remove my, pull off my wig. <laughs> <laughs> it was something that I knew very well. Mm -hmm. This chick has talked about this previously. Mm -hmm. It's something that she has, even, I can even go as close as saying, mm -hmm. this is something that she already knew she'll do one day. Okay. So, so because of that, <laughs> I couldn't let it just go. Mm -hmm. I said, no way. Mm -hmm. This is Kat Bondi. I'm going to mix medium. Neutral, she's the same skin tone as me. Medium neutral and deep warm cut of only makeup. And then I'm also going to use my Tarte concealer. So I knew this chick mm -hmm. has been talking about doing this. This is not her first time to, uh, to talk about this. Mm -hmm. And she's talked about this. So because I knew very well, it's something she has discussed previously, that mm -hmm. she can do it. Mm -hmm. I reacted very badly. Mm -hmm. I was angry actually. And I actually bet her up. <laughs> you serious? Yeah. Uh, yeah. But she knew she had done a mistake, mm. so mm. she asked me to forgive her. Mm. And then we buried the hatchet just like that. Mm. But now, mm. I wanted to just know for you, mm. what are your limits? What is it that maybe you can forgive a friend for doing? And what is it that you can never forgive your friend for doing? Like, no, 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 this one I can't. Completely I can't. But this one, I can easily forgive if she comes and apologizes to me. Okay, for me, mm. I'm a very, I will give someone a second chance. Mm. But before I give you a second chance, mm -hmm. I have to really... Mm. observe you like mm. you know misunderstandings and mm. discords are mm. regular in any kind of relationships mm. no re no kind no relationship is just smooth Very perfect you know? yeah mm. all the way so mm. when i have a disquiet with someone mm. for instance i've had friends whom we've disagreed mm -hmm. at some point mm -hmm. and they went ahead and just started like you know blowing up my phone mm -hmm. Uh, after the, the disagreements, mm -hmm. they blow up your phone with texts and, you know, mm. sometimes they tell you stuff just to get your reaction. Mm. And I think those are some of the people you should mm. really stay put mm. of and, mm. you know, mm. because such people are trying to, to like, pull you mm. or to, like, pull you into a fight, you know. Sasati mm. uh, mm. to then they are there. Mm. You are quiet and wanna comfort na like mm. you know you did mm. this mm. just to get your reaction. Mm. Yeah, for some people, mm. when we have disquiets, mm. you decide to just let it pass. You know, mm. yeah, we've had, we've disagreed. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm not holding it against you. You know, mm -hmm. so I'm just letting it pass. But these these are some of the people who are just like after disagreement, they will really show you who they really are. That is when their true selves, their, uh, their true colors, yeah, yes, actually mm. come out. So I believe that it, those are some of the red flags you need to look for in a relation, in any form of friendship or mm. relationship. Mm. Look at those moments when you really disagree with someone, mm. what they do in that moment and what, what mm. do they say? Because, mm. you know, That's sometimes their you, real self, yeah, eh? you don't really know a person unless you, you've disagreed. You don't have, uh, you're not in good terms. Yeah. Mm. So there are some things, Mimi, 
Mm. Yeah, if you do, I mm. will forgive, you know. Mm. But I really have to to be sure that mm. you will not do it again. Mm. This won't happen again. Yeah. So mm. Mm, basically, mm. that's it. Okay. But after that particular disagreement, mm. she apologized because she knew now mm. I'm the one in the wrong. Or mm. maybe even she recognized that she I've always a been mistake. a good friend, mm. and she had made a mistake to mm. do what she did. Mm. So the moment she came back and apologized. Mm. I forgave her and mm. our relationship continued as usual. Mm. So, mm -hmm. sometimes friendships have uh, limits eh? sure. and some red flags. Mm. There is no way that I can expect maybe such uh, things to go on okay, there is no problem at all or we go on as usual mm. and I trust you 100% mm. and yet you've given me a reason to stop to trusting stop, you. Yeah. Even in terms of a relationship, mm. like what are your limits? The ones that you know, this one, me, I can't. Like, for example, mm. if your boyfriend played you with another chick, mm. I just want you to be sincere. If, would you, would you like, uh, be willing to listen to why, what, where? Or what will be your first reaction? <laughs> I'll tell you as mine as a, as, a, as a normal uh, girl, right? Yeah. Your first reaction would be you. You will feel hurt. Uh -huh. Okay, I don't fight, so I, I will drill that out. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> but I will cry. Basically, me when when I'm um, heartbroken, I yeah. really cry. I just cry it out. Then yeah. I would want to find out the reason why. Like, why yeah. would you do it? You know, yeah. from him. Yeah. And from someone else. From him, <laughs> <laughs> because he's the one who who did the deed. Do you understand? Yeah. yeah. In as much as. Probably mm. he would lie mm. and tell me the um but I would just want to really find out mm. why would you do that? You mm. you understand? Mm. Then I, I think some mistakes are, mm. are forgivable and mm. others are not. Like is cheating forgivable? Cheating is forgivable depending on the circumstance and depending on the reason yeah. on how on how much they are willing to. To change, to change after that. Yeah, after that. Yeah. Yeah. Someone yeah. wouldn't go change. cheating. Yeah, I believe I people believe, like, change. They say in Africa, mm. a leopard can't change its spots. Like mm. once a cheetah, mm. always, always a, a cheetah. cheetah. Do you believe in that or do you believe in someone just coming back mm. and focusing back on the relationship and stopping um, their habits like that one, like cheating? Sorry. Okay, I believe... I believe people do change. Okay. I believe. I believe. Maybe not cheetah. <laughs> no, I'm just saying. <laughs> oh! oh I just okay, don't. there's a one time thing. There's <laughs> something that someone does once, uh -huh. and then um, it's once. You, uh, they don't it's do over. it again. They yeah. don't repeat it. You know? But um. someone doesn't cheat twice, three times, then they come and tell you, forgive me, I won't do it again. Because if you do something uh. twice, it means that you have mm. the potential of doing it again. Again. What about once? Once, yeah. just look out for the second time. If they do it a second time, <laughs> then I think you have all the reasons too. Yeah. Yeah. The fact that you'll keep on looking out or looking, maybe checking or maybe checking on them, mm. basically means you didn't forgive them. Like if you forgive them the first time mm. and they confess and they ask uh, you to forgive them and they want to move on with you, mm. um, and you continue watching them or maybe you start watching their phone, you start watching their emails to see if they are communicating with anyone else or mm. maybe the same girl mm. or man. Mm. Um, that can basically mean that you haven't even forgive the, forgiven them 100%. No, the the gist yeah. is not at, like to at his house like yeah. okay, I yeah. want to see your phone yeah. whom you're communicating yeah. with. Just yeah. just look at them as a person. Are they yeah. are they behaving in a way that yeah. suggests that they are they are changed, yeah. you know? Yeah. 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 That's suspicious. For me, mm. um I wouldn't um if it was a dating scenario, mm. you know, there are different scenarios, first sure. of all. Mm. If it's a husband, if it's a... And there are children invested, mm. you have to look at all angles. Because mm. um, there's, a, there's a little variation. Mm. If it's a relationship whereby mm. um, you're just dating, mm. I, I, at that point, mm. for real me, mm. I wouldn't con I proceed mm. to continue with you. Mm. If it was just... Shut your eyes, please. If it was just a scenario mm. whereby 
we are married mm. and it has happened and you've confessed mm. and you're willing to change mm. uh, yes i can forgive you mm. but now as i forgive you mm. i will have my my tentacles raised like mm. i will be careful mm. it's not easy to trust someone again mm. once they've sa done such a deed yeah, so it will take time mm -hmm. and it will take a lot of proving from your end mm -hmm. that indeed we are together, mm -hmm. indeed this will never happen again. Mm -hmm. Like before I come and trust you again, mm -hmm. the same way that I trusted you, trust you before, mm -hmm. it, it has to be earned. Mm -hmm. And the only way that it can be earned mm -hmm. from my perspective mm -hmm. is through your actions. Mm -hmm. So the actions, I'll have to continue to be extra vigilant. Mm -hmm. I hope you understand because sure. you've given me a reason mm. to not trust you already. Mm. Like, why should I now put my heart in it? Mm. Like a hundred percent. Like now, mm. I'm sure this guy has changed. Mm. And before, mm. before you even maybe did that, or I found you, mm. I didn't give you a reason. Mm. Even finding you, mm. having done that, close your eyes, please. I'm just spraying some airbrush flawless setting spray on the makeup so that it doesn't dry down completely because it normally does for me first know why mm -hmm. why did you why did it have to be to that extent mm -hmm. because yes people maybe have issues people have problems but why did it have to resolve to be resolved mm -hmm. by you cheating mm -hmm. and then something else mm -hmm. that we ladies need to understand mm -hmm. is that a man who respects you, though that is, a, um, depending on the person, mm. that is relative mm. to everyone, different. Mm. Like a person who cheats on you mm. and lets, and maybe you find out, mm. is someone who didn't cover their tracks, their tracks completely mm. and well. Mm. For reasons. Mm. Either they wanted you to know they were cheating mm -hmm. or they could cheat. Mm. Or, mm. or either they wanted, uh, maybe they are new in cheating. Mm. So they are not yet, <laughs> <laughs> they, are not experts. they are not experts in mm. cheating. Mm. They have known how to cheat properly. Mm. So they have been found. Mm. So first of all, we have to confirm mm. for which of these two reasons mm. is it that he cheated? Was that it you found out. That I found out. Mm that he cheated mm. was it a cry for help mm. because it can be a cry for help for mm. their partner to just maybe notice mm. uh, this is going on mm. maybe it is because of being neglectful or maybe it is because of a b mm. or c or d mm. so because of those reasons mm. first of all we have to start from that angle why mm. did you cheat and why did i find out mm. did you want me to find out that you're cheating mm. and that you could cheat mm. Because I believe there are relationships out here mm. where women maybe have become so comfortable in the relationship mm. such that they don't even uh, cater for their boyfriends or husbands' needs. Mm. They don't give them their attention. Their attention, them. whatever is needed in a relationship to make it successful. Mm. They don't go ahead and play their part or their role as the girlfriend or as the wives. Mm. So you find that it, men even end up cheating as a cry of help mm. uh, and they also make sure that you find out mm. when they cheat mm. also maybe to make sure that that probably you will adjust you will maybe. adjust you will improve maybe at the the, the mm. moment you realize maybe there's a threat mm. it's a stupid way of doing things mm. but it is human nature it is, it is human nature mm. and people react differently to maybe mm. different issues mm. So maybe when a man feels like I'm not being catered for, mm. when a when a man when a man feels like um, this woman has been ignoring me for a while, mm. I'm using this palette, Ever Beauty. And sis, let me ask you a question in yes. line with that. Mm. Do you think there are instances where a woman is driven to a point of cheating? Especially yes. women who are in committed relationships. Yes. Would you mind um, explaining? explaining. Mm -hmm. I'll use this brush from Morphe. Um, women can also be driven to cheat. Mm -hmm. If your partner is uh, 
doesn't maybe attend to your needs. Mm. The same way that a man can cheat because the partner doesn't attend to their needs mm. is the same same way mm. a woman can also be driven to cheat as well. Mm. But now, mm. women are normally, uh, are, they normally have very high self-control. Like before a woman mm. decides to, to cheat, mm. mostly they, they've already left the relationship. Mm. By the time you're finding out the woman is cheating, a woman is cheating, mm. my brother just know that she's ready to leave. She mm. won't cheat mm. mostly mm. unless she's ready to walk. Mm. If you find a woman cheating mm. and you still want her, mm. just reevaluate every part of that relationship. Mm. Because the moment um, you just ignore it mm. or maybe it's Basically, women cheat also as a cry for help, mm. as a cry, of, but now they are almost at the point where I've lost hope in this relationship. Mm. I'm not cheating for pleasure, mm. like sometimes men cheat, or I'm not cheating by accident. Mm. Women calculate, plan, mm. and when they are on their way out, mm. that's when they cheat. Mm. Why are you running? Why are you running? And at that point, maybe things are bad. Mm. By the time a woman is cheating, mm. things are really bad on the home front or um, in the relationship. Mm. Yeah. So basically, women don't cheat for the same reasons as, as men, men do. Mm. Uh, women don't cheat because they are drunk that day mm. and uh, maybe their friends, mm. uh, their friends gave them a plot mm. on where to go uh, party okay. and they found ladies there and they started, you know, mm. such things, no way. Mm. A woman will maybe even go out, mm. she's stressed, she'll mm. go out mm. and come back home mm. and not, and even maybe cry mm. because she's drunk now, she can open up mm. and even maybe cry mm. to her husband mm. in that uh, drunken state. Mm. While a man will go, mm out mm. when he's mad mm. and cheat on you mm. because he's mad not for any other reason mm. and then come back home mm. feeling better from friendships with mm. other married women mm. from um, the point of um, uh, being friends with some guys mm. and also from our own partners sometimes they are free to talk they talk to you they explain to you these things you see a woman cheating she's basically ready to leave she won't cheat if she's not ready to go. Okay. She'll only cheat when she's ready. Mm. Maybe she's even gotten a house already. Mm. She's even moving out. Issues in the relationship, mm. she will try and persevere as much as possible mm. before she gives in to something like cheating. Not that women don't have needs. Mm. They do. They do. Everyone does actually. Not that they can't go out there mm. and cheat, mm. but they have a heavier conscience mm. than I think mm. most men, I mm. can't talk for every man, mm. <laughs> it will be wrong of me. First of all, I'm not a man, mm. you know. Mm. Mm. Even in these uh, circumstances where people, uh, I've worked for a debt collection company mm -hmm. and like 70% of the people who had debts mm. there were men, not even big debts, mm. like 5k, 6k. Mm. Those are not men that, uh, if you see their information there, mm. those are not men who don't have money. Those are men who go to clubs and even pay 11,000, 15,000 mm. per sitting. Okay. But they just don't have a conscience mm. to think, eh, hey, this loan that I took, mm. I, need to I need to settle it. it. Mm. They don't have that sense of urgency. Mm. Like a woman who has your money, mm. will see you and want to fall in the bushes. That's true. She won't want to see you like straight in the face, unless it's a different type, because mm. also I can't talk for every mm. woman. I can't say I know how mm. every woman thinks. Mm. I believe a woman um, has more sense of right and wrong, mm -hmm. more sense of, I, what am I doing, mm. compared to a guy. A guy will just go, mm. if at all he's mad at you, mm. he'll do whatever he wants to do, mm. and come back home in a better mood. And he won't even feel guilty. Mm. For a woman to even cheat, mm. she'll, she can even be the one who leaves that relationship. Okay. She can even be the one who just tells you, I cheated. Mm. 
yeah and i don't feel comfortable anymore in this relationship mm. because the fact that i've cheated mm. i feel like i'm not i'm not uh, being sincere with you mm. and because of that mm. they will want to leave they can even be the ones to confess mm. like i saw a statistic somewhere mm. where when it comes to females they are the ones who confess of cheating okay. of having cheated as compared to men like mm. a man can cheat on you for five years mm. But even get babies <laughs> <laughs> and you'll know when he's being buried mm. especially here in africa mm. yeah you'll only know a man played you mm. or even uh, gave birth to a baby out there mm. has another there. family out there mm. completely <laughs> mm. when when they die mm. they are going to the grave now mm. That's when you realize, eh, come this man I was with. Mm. Whereas you, a woman, mm. even when someone just like signals you, like someone tries to talk to you, like they want to, when someone wants to, to convince you to be with them mm. you feel guilty like you ask yourself mm. what have i done like is it the clothes i'm wearing yeah that mm. is making this guy can't talk to me like that mm. that is making this guy think that i'm available mm. and yet there is the man there <laughs> <laughs> and yet the man is there mm. feeling zero zero guilt mm. in fact being the aggressor in a different <laughs> relationship mm. and you are there feeling guilty But such is life. Mm. That's why God made us women. Mm. And that's why men are made men. A partner. Mm. You can forgive them even if they cheat. Mm. What is it that you can't forgive mm. if your partner does? What what is unforgivable when it comes to your relationship with your partner? One thing I believe a man shouldn't do to me mm. is hit me oh. and insult me insulting and hitting mm. uh-huh. yeah. insulting me mm. in line with myself or, and even my family mm-hmm. that those are things that are no go those are no go zones for me you don't mm. insult me you don't uh, hit mm. me okay yeah attacking your character your family like mm. i think it's something to do with uh, emotional abuse yeah that that is the word You can't stand for emotional abuse at all. Mm. Yeah, they come back abuse. Oh, emotional and physical abuse. Mm. Even if they come back and say sorry that one is a no no. It's a no no because I believe mm-hmm. my misunderstanding with you mm-hmm. can always uh, be solved amicably, you know. Mm. And in a dignified manner you don't have to go out to of resort your way, to you know. Mm. Mm. I insulting understand. someone. Okay. Mm, because insulting someone actually mm. kills their esteem. Mhm. Very much, and mm. building an esteem is not something easy. It takes time to build your uh, your self back to where you to were where before. You are. Mm. Because this is someone you trust, you know. This is someone you love. You've opened up to them, your okay. heart, your soul. Okay. Yeah. So basically, mm. if they insult you, mm. it does something to you. It mm. breaks you, you know. Mm-hmm. It breaks you such that you you keep asking yourself, yes. why did they say this? Yes. You know? Yes. Why did they think to say this? Mm. The the makeup I'm using right now because the first layer of makeup that I put on her uh, didn't match with her face. The one I'm using right now is Huda Beauty in cinnamon 400G. No, 440G. Both is, both of them are cinnamon. <laughs> <laughs> uh, abusing me. I think maybe it's because of uh, who you are as a person. Mm. For me, abusing me mm. It's not something that I will accept laying down. Mm. But, but it's not something it. that will break <laughs> me. Okay. Yeah, because for me the way I've built my esteem of myself mm. I'm at a point where mm. I mean even if you call me a dog today mm. will I start barking? You won't. But can you imagine someone? <laughs> this is someone who is supposed to be there. Log, like how do you call someone that you are supposed to call, you know, my love, my love or and, sweetheart. Mm, You're calling them a dog today mm. and then tomorrow you want to be with them. Mm, it's the, it doesn't fit my logic. Uh, mm. uh, for me. 
<laughs> for me um calling me that mm. doesn't matter a lot because i don't uh, i don't uh, you don't dictate like you who can't you change who i am mm. even if you call me a cat mm. i'll still continue being the same same girl mm. with the same same style mm. the same same girl that you fell in love with mm. there is no way calling me a dog mm. will shake me mm. or will change me mm. or will make me see myself any different mm. or will even affect my self esteem mm. but this has mm. come also over time you know mm. i can't expect someone who is in a, in a new relationship in a young relationship mm. to have the same perception mm. or to have the same opinion mm. yeah so this has come with time mm. like just calling me a name mm. that one doesn't change who i am mm. like i'm sure mm. any beautiful girl <laughs> <laughs> like if you've never been told this word mm. i my my sister mm. there's a problem <laughs> I have a long way to go. And, uh, there's a problem like mm. if you've not been called uh, like a prostitute mm. while growing up mm. hey, my friend mm. either you are not beautiful <laughs> <and> i'm not <laughs> <laughs> you don't mean that all beautiful girls are prostitutes. I'm not saying they are, mm. but they've been called. Mm. Yes, at one point in their lives mm. they've been called because uh, most people as long as you're beautiful mm. they they think that on you as long as you dress you take care of yourself. Mm. Most people look at you in a different way. Mm. And they and they always want to call you that. Mm. Calling me that mm. doesn't change who I am. Mm. It won't change who I am today, tomorrow mm. or the day after tomorrow. do you still feel respected when someone that you stay with uh, calls you that yeah no I'm, i don't allow them to call me that mm. but if it happens that they call me that mm. for me it's just like shouting woo 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 <laughs> <laughs> okay. i hope you get me you. close your eyes please for me mm. that is just like kupigia mbuzi guitar mm. Mm. basically unapigia mbuzi guitar bure mm. you're wasting your time and effort mm. in thinking that you're hurting me and you, you are not you must have grown a very thick skin yeah i grew a thick <laughs> skin after a while mm. once you've been in a relationship for a while mm. there are some things that won't uh, really worry you mm. a lot because mm. even you yourself mm. <laughs> i'm not saying you go and abuse your boyfriend my mm. small sister mm. eh? my dear sister don't abuse your boyfriend mm. but even you yourself mm. when you're mad mm. you'll find yourself saying things mm. for me as long as also you don't touch me mm. you saying we throw words both of us throw words at mm. each other mm. especially when we are angry mm. when we are mad mm. both of us can throw things that are regrettable mm. like things that with on under normal circumstances you wouldn't say them you will never find yourself saying that mm. so in such a case i won't i won't le- i won't uh, let a word mm. only a word but what what i go also mm. the one that i will not compromise on mm. is the the one that i don't compromise mm. and i will not accept mm. is being beaten mm. or being hit mm. yeah being hit mm. is, I, i i think i have some stamina that i can stand <laughs> for <laughs> you can stand up for yourself yeah mm. when, when it comes to having um someone abuse you mm. or belittle you mm. or making you feel like you are low mm. that one uh, shaking my shaking my my believe my in myself mm. in who i am mm. as a person mm. will be a, di- a bit difficult okay so it's not something that will really really shake me a lot am mm. um, a donkey mm. being called a donkey doesn't make me start carrying things on my back <laughs> 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 i will continue being the same same woman mm. that you knew and fell in love with like mm. that won't shake my belief in myself mm. i can't take mm. that is where mm. they will want to touch those are the buttons they will want to touch when you're having a misunderstanding because they know very well mm. this is what makes her most angry so, so they will want to annoy they will ta- yeah, they will wa- mm. when you are, when you are not okay <laughs> on good terms and maybe you are in a quarrel mm. when you are quarreling each other mm. that is when they will now want to to tell you that because they know very well ah this one mm. this one once i tell her that <laughs> that's a penalty kick mm. 
he but lied. I, I feel like oh. uh, when you're having a, a misunderstanding, mm. you should you should be you should the goal should be how to resolve how it. How to resolve it. Know? But anger does not allow you to uh, to be level headed. Anger is human mm. and it's normal. Mm. Anger being angry mm. and being annoyed with someone mm. is not something that is out of um, the normal. Mm. It's a very normal reaction, it's a human reaction. Mm. So when you're angry and you do things, mm. that's why you can even find in a court of law mm. there is something called temporary insanity. Mm whereby you can get angry mm. until you're not in your, in in, right, in your right senses. Mm. Maybe, maybe doing something mm. when you plead for temporary insanity. Mm. As long as it's proven mm. that you are temporarily insane, mm. someone can get away with that. Mm. So what I can advise you to do, my sister, mm. is if you know that those are your no-go zones, mm. your no-nos, mm. Just inform your partner, mm. for me, mm. this I cannot stand. Mm. Yeah, it's good to tell them. So that when they do them, mm. knowingly, mm. you know very well this person wanted to get mad at me, mm. or maybe to even get even with me, mm. because I had made them mad. Mm. And then you'll know your partner, then mm. and there. Okay. You know who you are. Mm. But it's always good to communicate. Like resulting, resolving your issues by quarreling and mm. shouting, and all that drama, mm. It's not good for a couple. It's, not. it's very good to just keep things respectable. But it's also human. Mm. I cannot lie to you. Mm. You're my baby sister. I'll advise you correctly. Mm. It's also very human mm. to get angry, mm. to even quarrel, mm. and to even fight. Okay. But now, mm. people should know that. Mm. Or your boyfriend, maybe. Mm. Or your husband should know that. This one, if I do this, she mm. leave. Okay. This she can't stand. Mm. So it's good to just be on the same page. Okay. Know what someone thinks. Okay. So you know, when maybe they were angry when you did something. Mm. That is when it comes out. That's when they tell you, in fact, this day mm. you did this, you, you came that. late. Mm. Maybe they, they didn't say it then. They didn't say that time. Mm. That's when they'll say, that's when they'll tell you, ah, this day when you came late, you're coming from that boy. I'm so angry at you because you've been flirting with that boy. Mm. That's when you know, eh, my, my boyfriend mm. is normally suspicious of me mm. with this guy. Mm. And, this, and you, you knew that your boyfriend understands that this is your friend. Mm. The way we are, the, the environment in which we are brought up mm. um, affect us in... In, in terms our, of how we in, get angry. Um, how we relate with our partners later in life. Yes, it really does. That's why they say... Mm. Before getting married to someone, mm. you have to know their family. Mm. You have to know what type of family they come from, mm. how their family relates with each other. Mm. Because sooner or later, mm. what a young boy mm. or a young lady mm. sees in their home mm. happening, how the father treats the mom. Mm. There's, there's that stage of life where he'll want to please you. Mm. Um, there's that stage of a relationship mm. where he'll want to please you and he'll act according to maybe what you like. Mm. But when um, mm. stuff hits, uh, hits the fan, mm. when, like you understand, when things go bad, mm. that's when you'll know your partner. Mm. That's when you'll know the real partner you have. Mm. When, like, say, mm. when they're angry, what they do, mm. when. Um, and it's always depending on how they grew up. Mm. It's always depending on how they grew up. Mm. One can change. Mm. Yeah. Unless they've now decided mm. from today, I won't allow maybe my past mm. to dictate who I am, mm. how I react to things. The past always catches up with you. Yeah, right. Your past will always catch up with you. Mm. So it's good to just uh, check your partner's background mm. before getting to settle with them. Mm. Check your boyfriend's um, family, mm. how they relate to each other. Mm. Because sooner or later, that is how you relate with them. Mm. I was saying that there are some things I wouldn't take, mm. um, come insults. Because mm. I believe that what you... What you foster? No, yeah, what you accept mm. during your dating time, mm. that is what you carry along into your marriage. If this person is, you know, with you for the long run. Mm. And when you have kids, mm. 
in a marriage, the mm. way you relate with your partner mm. really does affect how mm. those kids are going to be mm. in the near future. Mm -hmm. So mm. I don't see, I, I, I think it's just a matter of respect where someone shouldn't mm. be calling you names, mm -hmm. especially when you have kids in the house, because mm. kids do take a lot from their parents, you know, mm. from their backgrounds, rather where they are raised and mm -hmm. stuff. Mm. So. I believe for me it's a matter of you know if I can I, I will take this and this I will not take because if I if I stand this it means that my we are kids going will with also it. stand for it. Yeah, you, you know? are showing your kids how to be treated mm. by how you are treated by your pa mm. your partner and how also to treat their partners. Very true. Mm. But uh, the truth is that mm. um, your kids now mm. yes it's your responsibility mm. now how you act in front of your kids because it kids not don't learn by what they are told mm, they learn most by what they it. see mm. yes so it's good to also dictate what you like mm. but at the end of the day mm. your partner will only behave how he has been really? brought up but it doesn't mean it gets stuck there mm. you can talk to your partner mm. if it's a bad habit they have mm. you can even go to counseling mm. you can talk about it mm -hmm. you can find a plan mm. on how to get out of that kind of habit okay. like you can't just say because my partner mm used to drink in his home or he saw his father being a drunkard mm. now he ha i have to accept that he's now a drunkard mm. no you can't just accept that okay. you do it's not easy mm. like the way someone has grown up mm. it's not easy to take that from that them. from them but it is possible mm. yeah but uh, it's in their mentality mm. like maybe how they react when the door is knocked mm. how they if it's a bad habit mm. It's better to just even discover it before you settle down mm. and to try and correct, it. and correct it because it can also affect your children. Mm. And you can't just give up and say, oh, this is the way they are. No mm. way. No way at all. Because if at all, you have the choice. That's why dating is very important mm. to know who you're dealing with. Mm. That's when you know some things. And even when you're dating, what mm. I always advise, Mm. My friends, the young ones who are not yet married mm. and settled down, mm. is when you're dating, sometimes even push your boyfriend. Mm. See their limits. Mm. Because from their limits, that's how they will be acting. Mm. There is no way they act any different. Mm. Especially when someone is angry, mm. that's when you know how that person is mm. and how they normally behave. When they are in happy circumstances, it's very hard to figure out who they, who they are. Mm. Yes. So, it's called adversity. Adversity and just being strained mm. brings out the real relationship, the mm. real person, mm. sorry, in the relationship. Mm. I believe those are... Mm. Those, those are those. it. Mm. Yeah. Now, I wanted to ask you, mm. uh, there is this perception that um, rich guys, I wanted your opinion, mm. that rich guys mm. can never mm. be faithful. Mm. That uh, men can only be faithful mm. the moment they are struggling, the moment they are hustling, mm. the moment they are still discovering themselves. Mm. But that, but the moment they, the moment they now get into their own, they start getting wealth. Mm. They start um, getting recognition if it's, if it's by the society. Mm. What do you think about that? Being that mm. there was this story uh, that was on social media yesterday and the day before mm. about the two twin brothers. Mm. I won't say their names. Mm. You've heard about it. Yeah, I yeah. have. Yeah. Mm. You know their positions. Mm. Like we know their story. Their story has been in the media. We know their wives, maybe their exes. We don't have the whole story. Mm. But Do you think a rich guy mm. can be faithful to one woman? Well, so. What I think is mm. um, money or societal standards mm -hmm. should never dictate um, someone's character. But do they? <laughs> <laughs> so I believe someone you you could you you decide who you are. 
Yeah. You can decide it's to be anything. It's not the money that makes it's you. It's not the money that. You it's know. who you are. It's who you are. You decide to be who you are, you know. So would you say that you they are just like that? They've been like that or is it that the money has got into their heads? I'm sure you've had the the synonym that mm. money has got into his head. Like he behaves like that because of the money he's handling. Mm. He's handling too much money. Mm. That's why he's not sane. That's why he's not uh, respectful. Mm. That's why he can behave this kind of you are just a big guy do you think a rich man okay i wouldn't call that a man i would say a rich boy because a man, a man yes. knows no yeah. has you know has some sort of dignity yeah sort of dignity and respect and respect for themselves not even yeah. for you know for before i come and tell you that i respect you i have to have a level of respect for myself you understand mm-hmm. so these are just people who yeah. Who are just waiting for an opportunity? Uh, yeah, these are people who are always bad. Yeah, they are. They these were are always bad. They, just, they, they just didn't have a leeway of you know expressing their their true selves, oh. determined by how much you have in your pocket mm. or in your bank bank account. Mm. Mm. But can the money affect? The money can affect if yeah. that is who you've always been, you know. The money Maybe cannot you affect are ju- you. If you are just hiding behind the fact that you don't have the money, hmm. you know, because nowadays, actually, hmm. for you to even get that that woman that you know, ule manamke probably akona anaonekana kama manamke, you have to have some money in your pocket. So, wale ambao hawana pesa, they don't have the privilege of probably dating the kind of women they want to, hmm. ama meeting the kind of women they want to, and so when they get money. Hmm. It gives them that um, that freedom, freedom. Mm, yeah. to actually do what they've always wanted to do. Mm. On a budget, mm. you will never go. Thailand, mm. countries like Thailand, mm. like if you are on a budget, mm. you will never, never go come. get to go there. Mm. Countries like Dubai is not so expensive. Like an average middle class person can travel to Dubai mm. as a tourist and come back. Mm. But there are countries in this world that are, and cities in this world. Mm that are just known for parting, mm. for usherati, mm. immorality. you know, immorality. Mm. There are cities in this world that you go to, it's just immoral, immoral. Mm. But you wouldn't be able to go mm. if you didn't have the capability and the pockets. Mm. So the fact that you can afford to go there and maybe you go there mm. will, de- will also determine mm. how you will behave. Mm when you get there. Mm. So me, I would, there's a girl who says online, mm. don't say, I'll never, or me, I could never, or uh, this person is like this. Mm. Before, mm. you've come into money, because money is the true test mm. of a person's, of a person's character. character. Mm. Money is what makes your character or what breaks your character. Mm. Yes. Mm behave in a certain way mm. because we don't have an option. Mm. Eh? You understand? Mm. There is no option. Mm. Like if you wanted uh, to, for example, party for a whole week, mm. you can't afford to. <laughs> mm. How would you even? Lashes. <laughs> Am I a good sister or a bad sister? <laughs> mm. So personally, <laughs> I wouldn't judge someone. Mm. Like for that's why they say mm. you should in fact get into your own mm. before you marry a woman. Mm. Because just marrying a woman when you're not even uh, financially ready to mm. maybe you're struggling, maybe you're middle class. Mm. I'm not saying only the rich people should marry. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> you're not very well off. Mm. You are uh, middle class, mm. maybe you're in college or campus. Mm-hmm. The women you will have seen are just those ones in campus. Sure. You first realize that those campus girls are so unkept. Mm. They are not stylish at all. Mm. They are not... Uh, they are below average. They are not that much. Because, you know, you're only... The only... Your, your horizons mm. are dictated by where you are. Mm. So once you start maybe traveling, maybe once you start working, you see girls at the office, mm. and at that point you've settled with your campus sweetheart. Mm. 
And then you start realizing, eh, kumbe girls can... Uh, there are women out here. Who are better. Mm. To point your horizon school, only see your campus sweetheart. Mm. So money has a very, very, very much mm. to do with um, your perception mm. and who you are mm. at different points of life. Mm. I hope we are together. Sure. So um, in terms of believing whether um, a rich man can be faithful, mm. that one, I'm leaving that question to you, my subscribers. <laughs> tell, <laughs> to tell, us, me. tell us in the comments. Tell us in the comments mm. if you believe a rich man can be faithful. Faithful. Mm, lashes. <laughs> they are too long for you. <laughs> uh, I, 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 I feel so pretty actually. You feel pretty. Mm -hmm. Can I put on the setting spray? Sure. Okay. Oh, we didn't put any lipstick I, yet. Oh, lipstick. Mm -hmm. You look pretty. I've even forgotten about <laughs> the lipstick. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. Until you've started eh, having a different swag. Mm -hmm. Makeup, you see, if I tell they say money can't change you, makeup is making <laughs> makeup is there making her start shaking her head like, hey, <laughs> the swag eh, mm. is coming. Mm -hmm. So if I tell uh, makeup is doing this, what about money? money. Eh, what do you think about money? I always overline my lips with my small C's. Yeah. I hope you enjoyed it. We hope so. We hope you enjoyed it. Mm -hmm. And if you want her back on my channel, please oh, tell her and comment back. down below. She's <laughs> called Christian. Just say, we want Christian down below. <laughs> <laughs> and then rate my makeup skills. Yeah. The, yeah. All yeah. right. Thank you, guys. I'll see you again, hopefully, if you bring me back yes. soon. Yeah, thank yeah. you. Thank Bye. You. I Bye -bye. think she looks pretty. Yeah. <laughs> With your small kachumbari on the side. Welcome back to our video today. Today I'll be showing you how to make a pilau recipe. And then the fact that normally 50% of the time someone makes pilau, it ends up at the bottom of the sufuria, a lot of it. This one reduces that amount of pilau that normally sticks on the bottom and it's also faster because uh i'll show you i'll just show you everything that i'm going to be doing on this pilau process so follow along and uh this part of the video it's after the workout after the breakfast meal so on this session i'm going to show you the shortest way of making your pilau and in the way that you'll make and it won't hold on the sophoria i know in the regular way that swahili is used to make a pilau dish it normally sticks on the sufuria at the bottom part because mchele is soft by the time the meat is getting ready if you put your potatoes the warus by the time the warus are getting ready they're already stuck at the bottom so this way that i'm going to teach you on how to make your pilau it will still give you the same results or even better you never know <laughs> it will be a shorter week because your boiled meat is already set aside this is the meat i'm using today for the pilau dish your rice is already boiled in soy sauce so it's already colored it's just steaming the sufuria is so hot <laughs> so your meat is ready and your rice is ready if you're making like three cups of rice you can put one and a half spoons tablespoons of soy sauce in your water when boiling don't put salt don't put oil it will just boil like that so follow along let's do this the oil cooks I'll put in some prestige. They're not yet boiled. They are still raw. I'll just put in my potatoes because I believe for the dishes that I'm making today, this is the hardest. So when you're making any food, always start with the hardest, the one that is most hard to cook. To put these onions and bell pepper or green pepper. They call it green pepper. Sometimes I read in places they call it bell pepper. I can see tonight you come ho ho. Started looking like a roasted potato. Now I'll put in my onions and green paper. Started looking appetizing. 
these are my carrots you can literally put anything you like even if you have like uh, cucumbers some people love cucumbers in their dishes you can put in cucumbers you can put in gorgets all the spices you like as long as um, two me two, three major spices stand out in a pilau dish that is what makes the difference between pilau and pilau jerry kenyans know what i'm saying <laughs> that stand out in pilau are normally the ginger the saumu kitungu saumu is called garlic fresh garlic and ginger combined together and then the it's called dawaya pilau by the costarians yangu imeka kwa mkebea zesta mze bought it I bought it when it was whole. This is how it looks. They are whole when I buy them. And then I normally just grate them in the blender to form this powder. But I buy them when they are whole. They are better, they smell better, the aroma is better compared to the ones that we buy in the supermarket that are still whole. I just organize and buy. Mostly I buy them in Isili because Isili has uh, lots of spices. Let me zoom. potatoes are about done so I'll just put in my meat it's from the freezer that's how it's looking it's almost occupied half of the sukuria that's why I said you need enough space I put in a teaspoon and almost a different spoon Party pilau masala. Oh, my dish is looking so far. I put in one spoon. Oh, not one. Two, two teaspoons salt. I've not even put a teaspoon because I can always add in salt later. Tomatoes. I know people don't like putting tomatoes in pilau. They prefer the processed tomatoes. But personally, I don't think it changes the taste anyway. If I put that, if I put this, if anything, there is normally a, a certain aroma that is in tomato paste that I don't like. Kafiye. Me andi kwa kafiye. Na ina kaa hivi. Then I just, it's like Royco, it's like Royco cubes. So. Tomatoes are almost ready now. The fire I'm using is very high. You know how this mekoga says cook. When I want to do quickly and get out of my kitchen, that's what I use. So that's how it's coming along. I think I'll add a cube. So ginger and saumu. ginger and garlic. This is my ginger and garlic mixture. I'll just let it cook for a few minutes. As you can see, nothing is yet stuck on the bottom of the soup. And my potatoes are already breaking up. Which means they are ready. And we should be adding the rice right about now. This is my pilau masala. I wish you could smell it from where you are. Really, really smells good. This is the last one, the pilau masala that I told you. 
I normally buy whole and then I just grate at home. I put a good amount. And now I have to reduce my gas because at this point, the inanzaga kushika chill. Like just drink the love. Those are ready. My meat is ready. Let me show you. That's how it's looking like. The rice was ready, as I told you. I just boiled it with soy sauce without oil or anything else, like salt. And that is how we do it. Add in more rice. I don't want anything burning so far. I'll show you even my sufuria. You can't know I made pilau in that sufuria when I'm done. Because the process I've used, it doesn't allow it to burn. It's just simpler and easier and overall just cleaner. And the results never disappoint. So we'll test together. It's okay. So this is the easiest pilau recipe that I've ever come across. Haikusumbui kichwa, haikusumbui akili. You don't start thinking, do I use a heavy sufuria so that the pilau doesn't burn? No! This one never burns. So you can just serve this with your small kachumbari on the side. With your small kachumbari on the side and voila just serve this with your kachumbari and you hear the reaction that's my rice i wish you were here so we could enjoy together but don't worry the day you have time my dear subscribers i'll make for you pilau maybe we'll do a party when you get to 100,000 subscribers, I can do a 100k party. We make this pilau, we make all the dishes that we've done on this channel. So if you watch, please subscribe. So that you don't miss out on the party. This is so good. Just take care of it. And then we'll be back. Let me demolish. Bye for now. Take care. Um, also, coming back with another part of this video. Enjoy the rest of your day, please. Kindly.